The North Carolina Zoo is home to one of the largest baboon troops in the country, but it's been a while since guests have been able to see them. The baboons are getting a new habitat. So in today's Zoo file, Shannon Smith gives us an update on the construction. The baboons at the North Carolina Zoo have been behind the scenes for more than two years. The baboons came off the habitat in March 2020. So they've been off a while. In 2020, workers tore down their old habitat along with the entire pavilion because of structural problems with that building. So construction crews are currently building the baboons a new home. It's going to get surfacing uh, all across the top. Once the structure's in place, Frank Valadez and members of the zoo's design department will make the space look and feel like it would for the animals in the wild. Hamadrius baboons are native to Ethiopia. So we kind of searched the area, and in Ethiopia, there is this uh, historical area called Lalabella. It's a community where the uh, historic king of that area took it unto himself to carve these churches out of solid rock. Designers are replicating those rock churches and making artificial cliffs for the baboons to climb on. The Pyderus baboons in, in the wild live on rockscapes. I've seen films where they're walking on almost vertical surfaces. So we really have to put a lot of effort in making sure that our surfaces are as vertical as going to be, are not providing them an access out. While they want the habitat to look like the wild, the top priority is safety for the animals, staff, and guests. Number one is function for the animals and uh, keeper safety. We have to make it as user friendly as possible because the keeper is going to have to walk all over it, clean it on a daily basis. Zoo staff hopes to have the whole habitat complete by late fall or winter so guests can once again see the baboons bouncing around the zoo. At the North Carolina Zoo, Shannon Smith, Fox 8 News. Well, the North Carolina Zoo is one of the only zoos in the country to have a design team on staff to help build these types of habitats.